All right, guys, Sanlita Archery actually did it. They listened to what we wanted to see with the Dragon lineup of arrows. So today we're going to dive in looking at the Dragon 10s and the Dragon 9s, and I'm going to show you some of the updates they made, and they listened to us, guys. They changed out the knocks, they changed the veins a little bit, or at least the placement of the veins. So we're going to go through talking today about this lineup of arrows, showing what you get with it, and we're going to shoot it a little bit, and I'm not going to go into shooting it too much because they're going to perform essentially the same, but the components are a little bit different and they're gonna be a little bit more favorable towards hunting. The, the way the dragon lineup of arrows came originally, it was more for a target archery style person. So we're gonna dive in today, looking at the changes they made. So up first, we're gonna look at the dragon nine arrows right out the gate, look at this. They have three inch veins instead of the four inch veins. So I'm just gonna pull out my bow right here and show you the problems people were having i mean you can look right here i'm not even able to use this style of rest with this arrow because these veins are just too long and even if you're running a whisker biscuit those fletchings are already inside the whiskers and it just didn't work out good so they made a really good change on that so we're going to go ahead and put the three inch version in there and look at this doesn't interfere with the rest at all. They're out of the way. I like a three inch vein. So they add just enough stability. And these are actually low profile veins too. So if you have clearance issues with your cable slide, you're gonna be just fine with these. You're not gonna have to rotate them as much. You're gonna be just fine because they're low profile. And another thing you might've saw was the knocks are different. So they listened to us, they changed out the knocks. The old versions had these pin style knocks or nail knocks. And that right there is what they look like. This is more of a target archery style arrow. So Sanlita, you know, they're based around a lot of target archery. So here in the US where we're primarily focused on hunting whitetails and big game, this style arrow just doesn't cut it. Does it have the durability, you know, to pass through an animal and, and hold up? So we opted for more of a beefy style, just a regular knock like this. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna work, so we're gonna give it a shot. And they've also moved the fletchings back a little bit. So with target archery, this works good, right? It gives you more clearance back here for your cheek. But, you know, for hunting, I want the most stability possible to offset the weight of that broadhead. So that's why hunters always kind of move their fletchings back or that's the way our arrows always come. They just come fletched a little bit further back and you can see the difference there. I would say a good half an inch, they moved them back. So I like those updates. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comment box below. And these don't shoot bad. Honestly, I don't think there's gonna be a performance gain out of the changes they made. But if you have clearance issues, these low profile veins are gonna be awesome for that. And then also the beefier knock on the back is going to hold up a lot better because I'm just going to be straight up. I have had a bunch of these fail. These right here haven't lasted long. So that was a weak point of this arrow. Other than that, the carbon is really, really good. I mean, these are, let's see, what is it? Yeah, 0 0.003 straightness. And then when we get into the tens, they are 0 0.001 straightness. So honestly, between the two, you're not gonna know the difference unless you're just a professional target archer. I don't shoot that good to where I could go out there and say, okay, the straightness on this one made me shoot a lot better than it did with this one. It's not gonna be the case. They're both great arrow shafts and I haven't had any issues out of the carbon itself on either, either one of these. And I guarantee you, I've probably shot over a thousand shots with these dragon tens it's mainly the ones i shoot guys these things have been awesome if you've watched any of my videos over the past i would say six months after i received these dragon tens we have shot the heck out of these things and i've busted a couple of them but it's nothing it's nothing major i mean it's me like busting a rock with these things just straight on or a concrete pad or something other than that you shoot them in the dirt you shoot them in loose gravel I haven't had any of them bust. So the durability is there. They just made the changes that we wanted to see. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, 
Dragon Tens, which are my favorite. This is supposed to be their flagship model. But uh, I kind of wish they had the green accents on the Dragon 10 because I like to run green accents on my bow. But they got the green accents on the Dragon 9s, which they're both good arrows, guys. Uh, so this is the old Dragon 10. So it does have the blazer range, which I like, but it has that pin knock or nail knock, whatever you want to call it, out back here. And guys, I did pull out some brand new Dragon 10s. Uh, the old model, but brand new versions, just to show you. Uh, but I have a bunch that are just, you can't even see uh, the logos anymore. I've shot them so much. They've just been buried in targets. Uh, but this is the new model. You can tell they have a new knock. Same blazer veins. <sighs> Mosquitoes up here in Alaska, guys. They they don't play games, man. They They are no kidding. They're out to get you. Uh, but they still have the blazer veins, and the only thing they really did was change the knock once again, and they changed the location of those veins. You can see, once again, half inch, they moved them back. So, made the changes we wanted to see. So, let's put these to the test. Been doing a lot of talking, uh, but let's put these to the test and, and see if there's any differences. I'm not really going to shoot it too much. We're going to shoot it at 20 yards and then maybe at 40 yards. Just see what kind of groups we can get, but... Just keep in mind, I haven't shot in a long time. We just moved up here to Alaska. I probably haven't shot bow in a month and a half, so my stamina pulling that bow back might be suffering a little bit. But honestly, this video is mainly just to showcase some of the changes that they made and just showing you if you were looking at the Dragon lineup of arrows and you didn't pull the trigger on it before, you might want to reconsider. These things are really good, guys. For the price, I don't know if you can beat these Dragon 10s. Or if you go with the Dragon Nines, I think you're getting a little bit more uh, price appropriate with the Dragon Nines because they don't put as much quality products on it, such as the Blazer Veins and things like that. But other than that, the carbon's the same. Uh, the straightness is a little bit different, but all the hardware is the same except for the veins. Uh, but yeah, that's enough talking, guys. Let's get out here to the range. Get slinging some arrows. We're just going to just sling some arrows. I was going to use the four different dots on the corners to kind of just shoot the old versions and the new versions. But I think what we're going to do, we're just going to shoot one big group right at the middle and see how good the whole group is. Honestly, these arrows should all perform exactly the same, even the three inch versions versus the two. I think they should all perform the same. Uh, let's start out with this brand new Dragon 10. Curious to see how these things perform. Looks like we're a little bit left. And we're gonna shoot the old version of the 10. Oh, that one was money. We split the bullseye on that one. That one's dead center. Let's shoot another, let's shoot another new version of the 10. See if we can get that one closer to the center. Oh, shit. Dude, we hit the bullseye on that one, too. I think we might have... It definitely slapped that other arrow that was dead center. So, guys, these things are like freaking tack drivers. So, let's shoot some of the Dragon 9s and see how they do. We got a new version of the 9. Nine. I think it's right there with them. Let's shoot another one. We're not able to shoot the old version of the non because the fletchings are too long. So we're only gonna be able to shoot the new version. Yeah, these knocks seem good enough. I mean, they're probably not like a super premium knock, but they work. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if shooting a big group was a good idea. I know there's not a lot of arrows down there, but we keep slapping them at 20. So let's back it on up to 40. I don't think you guys need to see anything else at 20. I think the point has been proven that these things just drop tax and it's a good value for the price. So let's back it on up to 40. Guys, this is the group. 
<laughs> well, right here you can see that old nail knock just came right off because we slapped it with these other ones. I mean, I don't, you can't get a, a better group than this right here. That was two, well, it was an old Dragon 10, a new Dragon 10, and a Dragon 9. Just all freaking together right here. So these two right here might have just been flyers, I don't know, but I don't know. The first couple shots out of this bow with these brand new arrows, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and back it on up to 40 and see what kind of results we got there. All right, guys, we're back here at 40. Let's see what kind of group that we can get at this range. All right, so this first shot, this is not the sight tape for these arrows. I had my heavy hunting arrows. So we're gonna see where this first shot goes and then we'll kind of base our, our group that we're gonna shoot off this one. All right, that's pretty good. It's about, I don't know, maybe a half inch high. We'll take it. We're not gonna leave, we're not gonna mess around with the sight tape on that. So now we got a new version of the tin. And they'll come land right on your face. All right, I think that's good too. It's right there. For 40 yards, I'll definitely take that. Uh, it's like a two inch spread on it. Shoot another new version of the 10. All right, I think it's there. All right, we got the new version of the nine. All right, it's, it's money, guys. These things are not disappointing me whatsoever. All right, guys, we have another Dragon 9 on here. We slapping them again, guys. <laughs> so that just goes to show you, even at 40 yards, you can get some really good accuracy. And with all of the previous models, guys, I was shooting those at 100 yards all the time. Go watch any of my videos from like the past four to six months with my archery stuff. It's all been the Dragon 10s and 100 yard shots. I mean, it's just easy. You don't have to worry about, you know, wasting uh, an Easton full metal jacket at 100 yards. Get you a bunch of these Sanlita arrows and you can just have fun with it and not have to worry about just blowing money on some really expensive arrows. So let's go check these out and see what we're working with. So that's our group at 40. Not as good as the group at 20, obviously, but you know, we're still probably two and a half inch group right here, all the way around, two and a half inch group. Pretty stinking good. I mean, all of these are shooting fairly the same, you know, even the old versions. That's why I'm saying like, the point of this video isn't to compare the performance because they're gonna perform the same. It's to, you know, showcase some of the improvements that they've made with the knocks and the fletchings and that's about it really everything else is literally the same and i can't say anything bad about the shaft itself the carbon is just excellent so there you go that's our little shooting comparison between the two but if you want to see how these Sinlita dragons perform at 100 yards go watch any of my videos over the past four to six months and we were shooting the dragon tens so they do perform i just didn't want to risk it on this range right here shooting these new ones at 100 yards but they're definitely capable of it guys and you're gonna have fun out there doing it and not have to worry about spending a lot of money to get out to 100 yards and potentially break some arrows because this gonna happen guys you're gonna pull a shot or two every now and then and you're gonna lose one or bust it hitting a rock or something like that all right guys so hopefully you like this video breaking down some of the changes they made to the San Lita dragon nines and the tens and overall really good changes i mean i emailed sanlita probably four months ago and i told him hey you know take a look at some of the the changes that we'd like to see 
such as actual knocks that you would put on a hunt and arrow, uh, pull in the, the fletchings back a little bit to match what other manufacturers are doing. They do it for a reason because it works and we're not using these as target arrows. So they don't need the, the pin knocks and they don't need the, the veins pushed forward to kind of not, not rest on your face as much. So they made the changes guys. And I'm sure a lot of other influencers on YouTube were, were saying the same thing. I don't know, I can't confirm, but I know for a fact I sent in some information and they must have listened. So they sent me these, these new models and we gave it a shot. So I think overall guys, you can't go wrong with these. I like the Dragon Tens just because that's what I've been shooting. That's what I'm comfortable with. But as you saw from this video, the Nines perform the exact same. And honestly, I don't know, we might switch over to the Nines. They got the green color accents, so we might just do that. I like the blazer veins on the tins, though. That's kind of why I've been shooting them. Um, but if you watch some of my old videos, I've actually, you know, I've shot them so much, the veins kind of fell off because, you know, the, the targets would rip them off. And I've replaced them with green blazer veins. So I have done it. I have matched them up to kind of the gear I'm running. But honestly, this is a really good bang for the buck. So go out there, give them a try. Uh, follow the affiliate link in the description box if you want to pick some of these up oh my god they're getting me so follow the affiliate link in the description box go go find some of these pick them up and you're going to be saving a lot of money and still having fun out there so guys like and subscribe we'll catch you in future videos